And I've looked everywhere else, even the science block. It's not like Ricky didn't miss a whole day. The teachers think she's doing an assignment. She's still not answering her phone. I've lost count of how many messages I've left. I wouldn't worry yet. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason to assume something bad has happened. Yeah, you're right. And there still is one place we haven't looked. Let's go. Ricky! That's it. I don't know where else to look. I don't get it. Why is she avoiding us? Come on. First, she lies to us about something really important, and now what? She's just avoiding us altogether. We need to talk to her. Get something out of her. I don't think that's the best idea. The last thing we want to do is drive her away further. We can't just sit around and do nothing. She's still trying to make sense of what happened. I'm sure she'll bring it up eventually. Just give her time. Will's right. I think the best thing we can do is just try and keep everything as normal as possible and hope that she feels like she can talk to us. Besides, she's not the only one that could have told us about what happened at the full moon. She asked me not to. What was I supposed to say? Sorry, Ricky, I'm telling them whether you like it or not? That would have been an option, yeah. She saved my life. It's got to count for something, doesn't it? I just wish we knew where to find her. I hope she's all right. your work? Uh, no, it's actually you I came to see. Oh. I'll, um, leave you two to talk then. Um, I was wondering, uh, if you might be able to get a hold of that rock again? Rock? You know, the one I helped you with for the school project. Uh, you know, I don't think so. Uh, that's a pity. Um, because I've been thinking about your results and if they're right, this could be extraordinary. Oh, and I was also wanting to spend some more time. Or maybe running some tests or something. Uh, look, Ryan, I'm really sorry, but um, like I said last time, it was for a school project, so I had to give it back. Yeah, that's really weird, because I called the school and they hadn't heard about it. You must have spoken to the wrong person, Ryan. No, but I... Could... Look, Ryan, I've got to go get ready. I'm meeting friends and they get mad when I'm late, so I'll see you around. Running off with their friends to hang out at Mako Island. So immature. Mako Island? Tell me about it. Sand, scrub, rocks. How boring is that? So, do you want to go out to get a juice or something? Uh, no, I actually better get going. No problem. Maybe some other time.
Ryan guy. He's poking around Mako looking at rocks. I told you he was bad How do you know what he looks like? The National Parks Authority uniform was a bit of a giveaway. He's not the only one that wears that uniform, Ricky. It was him. That doesn't make any sense. I didn't even mention Mako Island to him. So exactly what have you told him? Oh, I see. You want me to be honest with you? Yeah, when it involves us and our secret, yeah, I do. Well, I don't feel like doing that right now, Ricky. What? Bella, tell him we've got the right to know what's going on with Ryan. What's wrong with you two? I think they're upset with you. You think? I told them about the full moon, Ricky. About what happened with you and that thing. You promised. Well, I had to. We were all worried about you. How could you not tell us something like that, Ricky? I'm glad I didn't tell you because if I had, you probably would have told Ryan as That's well. That's not true. We can't let Ryan keep poking around out there. It's only a matter of time before he finds something. We have to protect Mako. Fine. That's the way it is. Stranger, just in time for your shift. Uh, yeah, about that, um, something's come up. Let me guess. Just for a change, you're off to Mako? Look, I know I haven't been around a lot lately, but there's a good reason. Yeah, I know. Secret mermaid business. It's serious. I could do with your help. Not this again. Please, Zane, you're the only one I can ask. Me? Yes. What about the others in your club? They're not around at the moment. What? Not even Will? I thought he hung on to your every word. I'm asking you, please. I need you to come to Mako with me. I'll explain everything on the way. Right now? Yes, right now. What's so urgent out there? I can't go into it right now. I just need you to trust me on this. Well, Ricky, I've got a meeting in 15 minutes. I can't just put it off because you've got some kind of mermaid drama. But it's important. Well, my meeting is important too. How did we get so torn apart? We used to be a team. She's just so obsessed. Guys, I know you don't want to hear this, but what if she's right? What if Ryan really is out there? Eventually, he'll find a rock sample that matches the one you gave him and he'll make the link. OK, that is possible. It's more than possible. And if it actually happens... He could be out there right now. I don't think that's very likely. Well, there's only one way to find out. Call him. We need to find out one way or another. OK. If that will make you both feel better, I'll call him. I'm not able to take your call right now, but if you could leave a message after the beep. Ah, uh, he's not answering. Maybe his phone switched off? Yeah. Either that or he's on Mako Island where there's no phone service. I'm a bit early this time, I know, but I thought we could get out of here and... Ricky! What a nice surprise. This is your meeting? I can explain. Oh, I'm sure you can. I'm still sponsoring Will. We're just meeting to update the terms of our deal, that is all. It's nothing. It's just business. What kind of business? What's your problem? Problem? You don't even like it's Will. It's got nothing to do with like. It's just... Business, yeah. Well, don't let me stop you. Ricky! Ricky! Ricky, what's your face? How long has this been going on? I kept the sponsorship going after we fired her, and I would have told you, but I knew how you'd react. So the meetings have just been going on behind my back the whole time. They're unbelievable. What do you expect? I mean, you're never here, and when you are, all you talk about is mermaid stuff. You're totally obsessed. Don't act like I don't try to include you. You don't. 
Today, I practically begged you to help me. You tell me you have a meeting. You could have told me that was with Sophie, but no. You choose to keep it to yourself like it's some big secret. Tell me, Zane, why is that? You can talk. Sometimes I think you're using the whole Mako Island thing as an excuse to hang out with Will. What? Well, you see more of him than you do of me. That's because he gets it. He actually understands. Well, I don't. OK, I don't get it. I don't understand why this... why this whole mermaid thing is just so important to you. I just want to be with the real you. This is the real me. Have you seen Ricky? I really need to talk to her. Why is everything always so urgent with you Mermaid Club people? Do you know where she is or not? All I know is that she was raving about Mako Island yet again and then she took off. So you put it together, Einstein, okay? You don't deserve her. What? You don't care about her, it's all about you, isn't it? No, you don't know anything about me, except I'm the guy signing your sponsorship check. You can always back out. And you can always keep your nose out of my business. Stop! I did come to tell you that you're not on your own. I believe you. Totally.
This is it. wondering if he's been working out on Mako Island lately, that's all. No, he's in the lab all week as usual. But I've got the number if you want to call him. No, that's okay. You know, Cleo, you should stop playing so hard to get. It'll never work on Ryan. But out, this is none of your business. Maybe I just don't want to see you make a fool of yourself. Well, that's not going to happen. He's not interested in you. And you pretending he is is kind of sad. You know nothing about boys, kid. I told Ryan how boring you are anyway. How you're always running off with your friends at Mako. Tragic. Let's go. He's gone. Is he okay? You didn't hurt him. You just gave him a really big scare. Ricky, I think we owe you an apology. You were right about Ryan and about protecting Mako Island. We should have listened to you. No, I'm the one that should be apologising. I shouldn't have shut you out. I shouldn't have lied about what happened at the full moon. Well, it's history now. But just know that you can talk to us about anything. I know, I know. I wish I could explain it. I just... I don't understand. It looks like he will was there to stop me before. Before you set Ryan's hair on fire? Yes. Don't mention it. I'm lucky you two didn't completely disown me. Oh, as if we could ever consider that. Well, not for long, anyway. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> You're back. Everything's going to be OK. No, it's not. All I've done is make things worse. How are we going to stop Ryan now? And look what happened to my magnetometer. How? Well, that's what I want to find out. Ah, just what I want to see. Now, Cleo, you've spent a lot of time at Mako Island, right? I used to, but it gets pretty boring after all. Oh, it's your time at Mako that's at issue here. You were supposed to be at the lab. Yeah, I know, and I'm sorry, but... No, no buts. You're paid to do lab work, not fool around on offshore islands and come back here talking nonsense. No, but I could be onto something if you just come back and see if what's... If I were you, I'd stick to your lab work and stay away from Mako Island. That's assuming you want to keep your job. Yeah, OK. I'm really sorry. Well, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I'd still like to catch up sometime. Outside of work hours, of course. I'm pretty busy at the moment, right? Oh, well, I'll see you all sometime. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, what is wrong with you? He's hot. You have got no taste. None. I don't think we'll be seeing him again. I hope you're right. After what happened, we can't let anyone near the moon pool. It's not safe. But whatever's going on there is not a danger to us. The tentacle is really special. I made a connection with it, like a real connection. It was like it was listening to me, but at the same time, trying to tell me something. Tell you what? 
I don't know. We should be working with it, not against it. This shows us everything, everything we thought we knew about the tentacle. Yes, it does. But I think that together, we can work it out. Together sounds pretty good to me. Me too. and 30 seconds, approximately. Need a hand? Um, no thanks. Everything's under control. Table six wants one orange and pineapple juice, one low-fat mango smoothie, and a soy banana shake with a bendy straw. Emma, I'm really glad I took you on for this job. I wasn't sure about some of your ideas. Like alphabetizing the fruit? Yeah, and colour coding the juice bottles. But it all works. Organisation's my thing. Look, um, I have to go away for the weekend to a food and beverage conference in the snowfields, and I'll need someone to look after the cafe. Is that too much responsibility for you? No, no, I love responsibility. Good, okay. And if you need to hire someone in to give you a hand... No, thanks, Wilfred, I'll be fine. I won't let you down, I promise. So I've been broke. Worst part is I can't even afford these tickets to the Feral Robots concert. Well, why don't you get a part-time job like Emma? Uh, jobs have this hidden downside. They involve work. Hey, guys. You are looking at the brand new manager of the Juice Net Cafe for the whole weekend. Perfect timing. Ricky was just saying she needed money to go to the Feral Robots concert. Ew. You actually like that band? So anyway, I was thinking now you're the manager, you could give Ricky a job at the Juice Net Cafe. Um... I don't really think Wilfred would want me to. <laughs> no offence, Ricky. No, it's fine. I'm not much of a smoothie person anyway. I cannot believe you just did that. Ricky is our friend. Why wouldn't you hire her? Look, this job is a big step up for me. I can't just go and hire someone like Ricky. You know what she's like? She really needs this. Why don't you just give her a chance? Guess what? Emma just hired you. She did? Uh, yeah. Welcome aboard. Thanks. I think. Well, I might as well give you the schedule now. You better write this down. We start work at precisely 7.25 a.m. and take deliveries until we open at exactly 8. Okay, I'll be there at 7.30. 7.25. That's what I said. Hey, boss. You're six minutes and ten seconds late. Should I go stand in the Nordic corner now, or...? Let's get to work. Much or just juice. I'm more of a coffee person. Can I chat to you for a sec? You can't talk to customers like that. I was being honest. You're not paid to be honest, you're paid to be nice. How's life in Juice World? There's only so much control freakiness I can take. Think of the concert tickets. And besides, it's only one weekend. Go and 
serve them. And be nice. Nice? Zane's a psycho and Miriam hates us. Why should I be nice? They are still two customers. Go. Why isn't Emma serving us? Emma's the boss, so I get the dirty work. What do you want? Uh, I'll have... a mango smoothie with a dash of mint. And I'll have a banana shake. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Don't mess it up. I'll try my very, very hardest. One strawberry smoothie, one banana shake. Hey, hey, um, I ordered a mango smoothie. You said strawberry. Uh, no, I'm allergic to strawberries, so why would I order a strawberry smoothie? Temporary amnesia. That isn't funny. And if I drank this thing, I'd swell up like a balloon and explode. I'll get your straw. What did you say? I'll go and get you what you ordered. How rude. And why don't you do something to get those losers sacked? Because I don't care, Miriam. Hey. What's that funny little room over there? The cool room. Huh. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom, okay? Dad, sorry. No, I haven't even used your laptop, so how could I break it? Now, but... Was Miriam happy with her drink? Is Miriam ever happy? Doesn't matter in where they've left, but they left the money, which is all that matters. Ricky, we need to have a discussion about your attitude. Why do I feel like I'm in school? Or is it preschool? There are two rules to customer service. Rule number one, the customer is always right. Rule number two, the customer is always right. Even if the customer is a lying, gossiping airhead like Miriam. Even then, and oh, and another thing. Just save it. Nothing is worth this. I quit. You can't quit. Watch and learn. This is me quitting. But you need to fill out a resignation form. soft. Why should I take her back? She's rude, she gets orders wrong and she can't follow simple instructions. She was trying, Emma. Well, she wasn't trying hard enough. And anyway, she quit. I didn't fire her. Well, you two are friends. Can't you just work things out? I was willing. I gave her every opportunity. What's done is done.
I just kind of accidentally snapped Frozo. It could happen to anyone. Anyone with mermaid powers? She must have been hiding in here and then turned the power off. That is so mean. Okay, we can fix this. All we need is a simple solution to a simple problem. Emma, she's frozen solid. This isn't a simple problem, it's a simple disaster. Hello, anybody home? In here, Lewis. What's he doing here? I called him. Oh, there you are. Now, ladies, what seems to be the, uh, the big crisis? Whoa. You do this with your pals. Accidentally. This is a catastrophe, right? Well, in the, in the normal world, definitely. But, but Emma's power is paranormal and can freeze things in milliseconds. Miriam's vital functions might not necessarily be compromised. So you mean we could revive her? I, I'm not sure. Maybe. How? We need help. And it won't be easy. We need, we need Ricky's help. Ricky? No. Not her. No. I tried calling her and she's not answering her phone. You called her already? I better know where she is. Don't bring her back here, Clear. We can do this on our own. You always come here when you want to be alone. Right, so that would be why you're ruining the moment. Ricky, we really need your help. For what? Emma's in trouble. Emma's a big girl. She can get herself out of trouble. Ricky, this is serious. Come on. What kind of trouble could Miss Organised Emma possibly have gotten herself into? Ricky's ability to heat water is essential, but you all have amazing powers and we need all three of you working together Save Mary. Couldn't we just leave her in the sun? For everyone to see? Forget it. This is not going to work. I'm going to call an ambulance. Emma! Do you really think that's a good idea under the circumstances? Right. She'll be alright, won't she? Guys, are we gonna do this or not? Yes. But we can't do it in here. Cover up. I can't bear to see you like this. Go and get Emma something. Try ginger, celery, and carrot. All right. Now Ricky's going to use her power to gently warm the body. Don't call her that. Sorry. Um. Once she's defrosted, Cleo, you're going to use your power, and you're going to get the bodily fluid circulating again. If we find a problem, Emma, you're here to cool things down. All right. Let's get this party started. We're tampering with nature here. Emma, we have no choice. We have to do this. Well, maybe we should try an experiment to make sure it's going to work. Uh, we need something frozen and something a bit like, um, like human flesh. Like, um, like, um... Tofu. Yeah, close enough. Okay, we've got another five seconds. This is hopeless, we're wasting time. Heated too fast. That could have been Miriam. It was working until you distracted me. Oh, it's my fault. Everything in the whole world's my fault. Emma, why don't I get you another juice? All right. Here's a timeline to prevent the, um, the tofu effects, eh? Now, we're gonna heat the body one degree every three minutes until she wakes up. Well, it doesn't. Look, Ricky, once you start, you cannot stop. You can't break concentration or... Okay. I'm ready. Slowly, slowly. OK, 
Yeah, that's good. That's good. Wait a minute. What about the temperature? How are we going to keep track of it? Uh, well, there must be a thermometer. Somewhere. There isn't. Well, have you checked in there? There isn't. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mum's got one at home. I'll run, I'll grab it, and I'll be back. Lewis! Don't stop. I'll be back. You're doing really well. say? It's the police! Emma, go and answer the door like nothing is wrong. But go. Cleo, cover Miriam. Hi, guys. Uh, sorry, we're not open. Hang on. I'm looking for Miriam. Apparently she didn't come home last night. Her parents are blaming me. Sorry, she's not here. Bye. Hang on. Maybe somebody else saw her? What's going on? We're just hanging out. In a closed cafe before 7am. What's so weird about that? Asking for help. We won't like that. What? Oh. Say, we're just helping Emma get the shop open on time. You're welcome to stay as long as you pitch in. I've got better things to do. Later. Yes, if you just listen. Yes, I know you're concerned, Mrs. Kent, but listen, I, hang on. Lewis, I've got Miriam's mother on the phone here. Tell her I wasn't with her last night. Hello? Lewis. Fruit delivery. Outside now. See you tomorrow. Fruit delivery. Should I take it inside? No, absolutely not. Outside. Outside? Is that a good idea? Can't anyone follow simple instructions? Yes, Lewis. L E. Wiss, Lewis, make something up. Um, no, no, I can guarantee that Zane wasn't with Miriam last night. Categorically. How do I know? Because he was with me. It's after eight o'clock and she still isn't moving. We must be nearly there. Cleo, can you start getting her um, bodily fluids moving, please? Okay, I'll try. Ew, it feels a bit weird. Concentrate, Cleo. Stay focused. The Juice Snack Cafe is meant to be open by now. There'll be customers waiting outside. What do I tell them? Tell them you'll be opening late. Emma, what's going on? Why aren't you open? So anyway, the door got stuck. No idea how, and that took time. I'm kind of running a bit behind schedule. Why is all this food sitting outside? Um... Fruit fly! It's contaminated with fruit fly. It's very dangerous, and you should check that out. About time. Check your temperature. It's normal. Why isn't she waking up? This fruit looks fine to me. So, Wilfred, um, how was your conference? Cancelled. First pleasure in living memory. Emma, what is happening here? It wasn't my fault. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't take this anymore. What's going on? Tell me the truth. All right. 
It all started in the pool room. Things were thawing out and I just stupidly... <gasps> ah! Is there some kind of weird party? Miriam, it is so good to see you. Since when, Emma, get off! Will someone tell me what is going on? Well, um... Emma found Miriam unconscious in the, in the cool room. She must have slipped on some ice and hit her head. We were just helping her. In fact, we should probably take her to the hospital wait, and... Fact no, her. but wait, you... Miriam? You're busted. We know what you're up to, so if I were you, I would just leave quiet. No. Look, someone left me a tip. Must have forgotten to be rude. Emma. After today, I'm really disappointed in you. In fact, I'm far more impressed by Ricky. I'm seriously thinking of offering her your job. You're kidding! Hey! Who are you gonna hurry up and drink out of what? We haven't got all day, you know. There are other customers. Go on! Drink it! Drink up! You shouldn't have done that, Ricky. I was the one who should have been fired, not you. Forget about it. That's what friends are for. You deserve that job, not me. Oh, well, I sound like Claire. If I do that again, then slap me. I promise never to be a perfectionist, control freak, megalomaniac ever again. Yes, yes you will. But the thing is, I still can't afford those concert tickets. You mean these? I had to do something with my manager's pay. But you got three. I thought you hated the girl robots. I do. But friends should stick together. Plus I've got some high quality earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> Opportunity knocking, but this is ridiculous. You should apply. Think. Assistant Dolphin Trainer Cleo, they would be paying you to hang with dolphins all day. <laughs> I guess it is kind of a dream job. Yeah, and it's one that's got Cleo written all over it. Just imagine what this could lead to. You could run this place one day. I'd make an excellent assistant, Laurie. And I think that this is a great career opportunity for me. I don't know, Cleo. I can start right away. I'm only asking for a chance. Can you believe it? Ooh, assistant dolphin trainer, me. It's so exciting. Well, it's just a trial, but still, thank you so much for encouraging me. Oh, that's all right. That's what friends are for, right, Ricky? Well, let's just see. You've just landed a job that involves being around dolphins, people, and water. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what's wrong with the scenario. Oh, be careful. I really don't want to make this whole mermaid thing a big deal. You turn into a fish as soon as you touch water, call me crazy. That is a big deal. Well, Cleo's a big girl. She can't make up her own mind. And the least you could do is try and be happy for her. Should I also be happy for her when she ends up under a microscope? You're taking a really big risk. If Laurie sees you with a tail, you'll be a bigger part of the show than you want to be. Maybe she's right. Maybe it is a bad idea. Maybe she's not. This is your dream. I'm sure it would be fine. If you wanna get with me, you better line up, ladies. Line up, ladies. If you want a love letter from me, you better sign up, ladies. You better give me your address. <laughs> hey, Ricky, you're a chick. What do you think of the song? Not into love songs, eh? Well, this one's actually about someone you know. Poor girl. 
Yeah, I'm hoping to open the set with it. Not in this cafe, you're not. Why? Because, Nate, I want my customers to be hungry, not sick to their stomachs. Lewis! Lewis! Huh? It's my cafe, and when I say goes, you are not playing that song. But... No, Nate, the answer's no. Well, if I can't play that song, then I'm calling the gig off. <laughs> Let me save you the trouble. You're fired. What? You can't fire me. I've got a huge fan following. Well, let's just hope they follow you out the door so I can get customers in with good taste in music. OK. As you know, Ronnie and the rest of his pod understand over 60 hand signs. So you need to remember that successful signals are clear and distinct. Watching? See? Clear and distinct. Now you try. Are you okay? Me? Yep, I'm I'm fine. You seem nervous. Oh, maybe just a little bit, but um I'll I'll get over it. It's natural to be nervous. It's just I'm sure Ronnie picked up on your nerves too and that can cause a problem. No, I'm I'm fine. It's good. Why don't we take five? Have a break and relax. We're fired? Yep. But why? I don't know. I was just rehearsing as usual and she just went off her head at me. What? For no reason? Right out of the blue! Oh, you know, I bet this is because of me. You? Nah. Well, maybe. Look, don't worry about it, Bella. I'm here for you. Nobody blames you for this mess. This is so unfair. the urge to see him up close. Well, this part of the park's off limits to the public. I, I grew up on a yacht sailing around the world with my parents, so I'm kind of hooked on dolphins. I, I've been around them all my life. Well, you can see Ronnie at the dolphin show. Great. Will do. Cheers. Here? Well, I won't for much longer unless you get out of the water. Come on, lighten up. I'm not hurting anybody. Come on in. Forget it. Now, please, please, please get out of the water. But Ronnie likes me. He really does. Watch. Will! Feeling better? Um, yeah, much, thanks. So, uh, what are you up to? You know, just rehearsing with Ronnie. Oh, hey, well done. Wow, you taught him that already. Oh, you're quick. Keep up the good work, hey? You're a natural. But it wasn't me. See? He loves me. Get out of there right now or I will call security.
What's your problem? What are you talking about? I know you fired the band to make a point at me. But I fired the band because Nate can't sing. Well, that's your opinion. Well, it's my cafe and I booked the bands. Doesn't my opinion matter? I know what this is about. You're mad with me because I encouraged Cleo to take that job. Don't apply for any job at the Psychic Hotline, all right? You're way off the mark. I fired the band because the band sucks. End of story. Well, I disagree. Nate has been working really hard to get our song list together. Oh, Nate's certainly been working very hard for something. That's not the band. What's that supposed to mean? Stick around. You'll see. Oh, Cleo, hi. Hey, I've uh, got a surprise for you. After seeing how well you did with Ronnie yesterday, I've decided to include you in today's show. You mean in front of a crowd? Oh, yeah, but more importantly, in front of the park manager. I want to show off my new recruit. About that. Look, Laurie, I don't... Uh... Here she is now. Cleo, do your thing. Dolphin train and me. Cleo, just settle down. Okay, stop, stop. So a few people got wet. It's a marine park. It is kind of expected. I just can't believe Laurie still wants me to be part of the dolphin show. I mean, what did I mess up again? Say it out loud. Okay, what's the worst thing that could possibly happen out there today? I fail in public and get put back on ice cream duty. <sighs> no, it's not going to happen, is it? No, it's not. I don't think I can do this. Cleo, you are a natural with dolphins. You're practically related to them. You're going to be fine. If you want to get with me, you better line up, ladies. Line up, ladies. If you want a love letter from me, you better sign up, ladies. You better give me your address. I can't wait to meet your parents. I can't wait to meet uh, your Nate, dog. Nate, Nate, um, Nate, that's horrendous. Yeah. Yes. That's what I said to Ricky when she tried to force me to add it to our set list. I still can't believe she fired us. Me neither. But hey, look on the bright side. We're in this together. What are you doing? Uh, comforting you? Okay, well, could you try comforting me without touching me? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I understand. We can take this thing slowly, babes. What thing? No. Us. Um, okay, I think, I think we should get one thing straight here. That there isn't an us. What we have is a strictly professional relationship, you know what I mean? Okay. Good. All right, I'll see you later. See ya. She wants me. In. I hope you guys have any plans for this afternoon. Actually, we do. Yeah, well, Cleo is a woman in need. So am I. Thanks, anyways. That's it. I have tried every local band and they're all booked out. Then we only have one option. I'm not calling Bella. Who said anything about calling Bella? It's Nate's band. Well, I'm not calling him either. Fine, I'll do it. No, I'm saying they're terrible. They're not that bad. The only problem is Nate's voice. Yeah, and his choice of lyrics, choice of chords, like a rhythm, and those facial expressions. Ricky, they're available. Right now, are you going to call them or am I? Relax. We're 
control, run into your friend. Nice, you can go wrong. Breathe in and out. Feeling. What are they doing here? Well, I invited them. Great, that's just great. Did, did you invite him too? No, no, I just thought that you would like some familiar faces. Where you thought wrong? But break a leg. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today's performance will begin in one minute. So take a seat. Have your cameras ready, and on behalf of Ronnie and the team, Do you want to have a city? Do you want to have a city? So, I, um, I heard Nate's song, and... Blech. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. You really did fire the band because of him, didn't you? Yep. It had nothing to do with me. Nope. I jumped to the wrong conclusion. Yeah, you did. Ricky, I'm, I'm so sorry. You were completely right, and I was wrong. He hit on you yet? <laughs> yes. Yes, he has. <laughs> you poor thing, don't worry. The nightmares will stop in a day or two. <laughs> Listen, I'm really sorry if I was a little bit... Blunt. Oh, yesterday. no, no, there's no need to apologise, really. I'm not, I'm not really against Claire having this job, but, you know, I trust her judgement. I guess I was probably just a little bit jealous that she came to you for advice first. Well, yeah, I didn't mean to tread on your toes. I'm just, I'm, I'm really not used to being in a, a group kind of a situation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what it's like. So, friends? Friends. So, about that gig, did you still want it? At the little fight. Yeah, what can I say? We're really desperate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me what you really think. Good afternoon, and welcome to our Daily Dolphin Show. Now, just for something fun, I'm throwing my new assistant dolphin trainer into the deep end, so to speak. Uh, to open the show, she'll be showing you something new she's been working on with Ronnie. Over to you, Cleo. Come on, Ronnie. yesterday, just do it again. Get the audiences here. Well, then you better go watch Laurie because I've already blown it. I can help you. You know, it's so much easier to communicate with dolphins from the water. It puts you on their level. If you grab a wetsuit and get in the water with I'm not him, getting in the water. 
Have you ever swum with a dolphin before? You know, it's so amazing. It's like, it's like magic. He won't hurt you. I know that, but I'm not getting in the water. You can't avoid it forever. You can't be an assistant dolphin trainer without getting wet. Just let me help you. Cleo? You ready? It's now or never. Come on, Cleo! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage assistant dolphin trainer extraordinaire, Cleo Satori! <laughs> Ronnie and I have been practicing a new surprise all week and he just told me he's ready to show you all today. But between you and me, Ronnie's a bit of a show off and I totally forgot that he asked me to bring my camera so I could film him for his mum. Well, he says it's for his mum, but I know it's really for his girlfriends, Kayla and Tully. Close-ups. What's that, Ronnie? Your ears are burning. Well, I, I couldn't have done it without Will's help. We're supposed to be keeping our distance from him. Well, he saved my job and he's not that bad. In fact, he's pretty nice. Just be careful. I will, I promise. Ah, so I hear you want us back. Bill, Bill, please, babes. You know, I knew you would come crawling back, but I'm not prepared to set up until you offer us a pay rise. 50% feels fair. Set up or get out? Worth a shot, wasn't it? Good to work. Hi. I'm Nate, and then this is a little number I wrote about. Uh, hi. I'm Bella, and this is one of Nate's original songs that I've modified a little bit. I would like to dedicate it to a new friend of mine.